No, 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 not for us. You know, that's something Americans do. Historically, we were always very good at developing new ways of thinking, new technologies. We have some of the most spectacular publicly funded academic institutions in the world. In your talk before, you mentioned Oxford, Cambridge. Unlike the universities in other parts of the world, those are funded by the taxpayer. This, however, also gave them a certain freedom not to look too closely at the applied side of things. Conversely, we have historically had some very big companies that had very big research departments. And a lot of the technology, a lot of what you now might term deep tech, was actually created in corporate research. The collaboration between the two was never really high on the agenda because it never had to be. The university came after the corporate research. A lot of the inventions in academia didn't quite find their way to the big established companies. When you actually needed a startup to monetize what you've just invented in your PhD. Because then we suddenly realized in Europe, we don't really like this risk stuff. You know, this thing about, oh, I could fail. No, 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 not for us. You know, that's something Americans do. Um, and the gap between research and commercialization became even bigger.